Okay, let's take a look at inequalities. When we're dealing with the inequalities, we're going to be dealing with less than, greater than, and now we're going to throw two new things in there. This right here is a less than, equal than sign because it's half an equal sign at the bottom. And this one is a greater than or equal to sign. Okay, so. You might ask yourself, why would you ever use a less than or greater than or equal to sign? It's because if you're thinking, if you're in situations such as you're at a roller coaster and you want to go on, and it says 40 inches or taller, that means that is has that equal with it. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. So this is kind of similar to our last chapter where we did equations. However, this time instead of an equal sign, it is a less than sign. So we have f plus 2 is less than 9. So we need to figure out which of these numbers makes that true. So if we start just with the top and we plug that in, we have 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 is less than... 8 is less than 9. Okay, so when we plug 6 in, 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now you have to ask yourself, is 8 less than 9? It is, so 6 is the correct one. If we would have used 7 plus 2, is not... 9 is not less than 9. If we would have done 8 plus 2, that equals 10. 10 is not less than 9 either. So 6 is the correct answer. Those ones don't work. Let's look down here. Of the numbers 8, 9, or 10, which is a solution to inequality? So if I do 8 minus 3, I get 5. Now is 5 greater than 6? No. Let's try 9. 9 minus 3 equals 6. 6 is not greater than 6. And then we have 10. Wait, 10 minus 3 is 9. Is 9 greater than 6? Yes. So this is our correct answer right there. Okay. Then sometimes they give you, um, you're going to have to figure out, is the given value of a solution, is the given value a solution of the inequality? So we're going to plug 4 in. So 4 plus 3 equals 7, is 7 greater than 9? No, it's not, so you will write no. Now we're going to put 6 in. 18 minus 6 is 12. 12, it's asking, is 12 less than or equal to 12? In this case, yes, because 12 is equal to 12. Now we're going to put 8 in. We have 11 plus 8, and that equals 19. So is 17 greater than or equal to 19? No, it is not. So that 17 is less than 19. Okay, 9 plus 7 equals 16. 16 is greater than 15, so we'll write yes. Now we're going to plug in 10. 10 minus 4 equals 6. Is 6 less than 6? No. Now we're going to plug 6 in. We have 15 plus 6, that equals 21. Is 22 less than or equal to 21? No. And our last one, we're going to plug 7 in for D. 5 plus 7, that is 12. And then we have 12 is greater than or equal to. 12 and 12 are equal to, so this one is a yes. So they are similar to the equations, but you just have to think are those whole numbers a less than or greater than? Sometimes if it has equal to, then it can be the same number. You can find more of these problems in your book, or you can check out um, Khan Academy or YouTube.